Watch this vlog while I clean up my room. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. So. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> uh, did you know that colorectal cancer is one of the most common cancers in both men and women? Or that it's the second leading cause of cancer death in the U.S.? Most important, did you know that colorectal cancer is very treatable and highly curable if detected early? If you didn't know these facts, it's time to learn. Uh, more and more people are surviving colorectal cancer through better treatments and increased screening. So getting the screening, a very simple procedure, is crucial. So we are on to fact number nine. <clears throat> and it says, during sigmoid sigmoidoscopy, a doctor looks for polyps or signs of cancer at part of the colon and the rectum using a thin, flexible, hollow, lighted tube called a sigmoidoscope that has a tiny video camera on the end. Hmm. Okay, the funniest thing happened. Funniest thing. So, uh, Jasmine and I were standing up here at the top of the stairs. Right? And... Right there. Right there, where the duct tape is. Right? Now, this is my old BC ID card, right? Not going to use my actual credit card. But anyway, I took my credit card and I stuck it in the wall. Right? Like that. I just had it sitting in the wall like that. Just because, you know, I was on my phone. I needed both hands. I stuck it there. So I stuck it there just because. Right? I'm going to take it out because whatever. Anyway, it was in the wall and we were joking around and <clears throat> she pretended to push me down the stairs and I lost balance and I went and hit the wall for support knocking the credit card into the wall right like right in here like where the crack is and went in behind behind the door frame here and so at first right I thought it fell through to the basement floor so I went down there and looked all around I couldn't see it anywhere and then I figured okay well I need my credit card so I started prying prying the frame off a bit and I saw it was was wedged right down in the bottom here right so it was stuck there so I ripped this whole thing off well I almost just pulled it off again it's not really in there securely but anyway I, I ripped it off and I couldn't reach the card so Jasmine has smaller hands than I do and she went in she got it out so I got my credit card back and then took the hammer and I banged this back in as much as I could uh, with the hammer in my hand and everything so that's there and then the duct tape is because there's part of the wall missing <laughs> it's all over the floor in various different places so anyway that's the story of my lost credit card in the wall that's weird but yeah little freaky freaky accidents that happen at home when you're not paying attention to where things are but anyway anyway I have a snowboard card on it of course so, I'm thinking, 
Maybe I should get Randy to pick me up one day and uh, we can go snowboard snowboarding. <laughs> There's a hill. There's a hill that, that that I know of that I can do that on. So that'll be fun. If we could do that, that would be excellent. But I'd have to I have to get a hold of him first and see if he's up to it. That is why that right there is why I like vaping downstairs. Yeah, especially when the sun comes in around this time. Let's see here. Just lingers as a huge vapor cloud. So we go around here. We actually go into the vapor cloud. And now, contrary to popular belief, uh, cloud vapor from vapes is actually cold. It's not warm or hot or anything like that. Like cigarette smoke is very hot. But vape, vapor, um, from a vape is actually cold to the touch. I don't know why I'm telling you that. I don't know why I find that fascinating, but I do. I don't know why. I'm just extremely tired today. I'm pretty much just babbling about anything, really. Vapor. <laughs> so, <clears throat> have to put a product placement in here because, just because, just because I do, because I love Dr. Pepper, and yeah. <laughs> one of these days, one of these days, <laughs> yeah, anyway, of course, Bootsy's up there again, um, mm, so I just ordered pizza from Pizza Pizza, the good pizza place, and we are going to watch a movie called Snowed In Christmas, which was filmed here and I did a vlog last year. Um, I was actually walking by the filming location like, while they were filming one of the scenes. And I put the link down in the description box so you can check out that vlog if you haven't seen it already. And yeah, that was back... Uh, when Jasmine briefly lived on her own and I was on my way home from her place so yeah <clears throat> so we are finally going to watch it <coughs> on Cody but we're waiting for the pizza to get here we're sharing an extra large pizza and I got some jalapeno poppers because I love those and yeah uh, anyway, I'll be back maybe after the movie, um, unless something interesting happens. 
between now and then. Who knows? <sighs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> um, so, we're watching that movie. And... I don't know. It was, just, it was a good movie. It was filmed here in Winnipeg. Everything was great. Um, but that one little... That, that one little thing that I showed you in that vlog from last year was the only thing that we recognized from Winnipeg. Except for one extra. Uh, yeah, we were watching one scene and this guy in the background turned around and Jasmine froze. She like... And she actually had to go back <laughs> and watch it again. And watch it again, watch it again, pause, it was her brother, <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, I guess, you know, he's into, like, casting calls and stuff, whatever, and any extra parts, her brother was in the movie, so that was cool, that was cool, so, yeah, um, so yeah, if you ever have a chance of watching this movie, it's a Lifetime movie from 2017. It's probably released around Christmas time. Uh, it's called Snowed In, I-N-N, -N, uh, yeah, Snowed In Christmas. And it's a really, really good story. It's like a love story. Um, very well done. So, I I would recommend it. I would recommend it if anybody wants to see, like, a holiday-themed love story. Um, that is the movie to go and see. And there's also that scene where Jasmine's brother is in. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. Don't go and watch it just because of that, though. <laughs> I don't know. Um... <clears throat> Christmas holiday romance movie. I think that's how I would I would classify it as. Um, but anyway, yeah. <sighs> I'm just going to relax for a bit, whatever. I might be back. I might not be back. This vlog's already very long, so chances are I'll probably just be back to finish it up because I do not see myself doing anything else tonight. So, hey there. <laughs> Alright, so I'm done this vlog for today. Alright, tomorrow, um, tomorrow I'll come back with fact number 10 uh, on the uh, uh, colorectal or bowel cancer. Yes, I finally said bowel cancer instead of bladder cancer. I don't know where that came from. But yeah. So, fact number 10 for Decembeard, all right? And <clears throat> something I've been meaning to do for a while. I guess you guys can witness this. Uh, at least you can witness it. I don't know how many other people will be watching this or not. But, <sighs> here we go. Something go flying. Yeah, 
I don't know. Stupid thing doesn't work. Anyway. Ah. There's my transducer. Keep hold on to that. I think I broke it. <laughs> The string still relatively in good shape. Holy crap! This thing doesn't break. Not easily, anyway. Well, <sighs> that took a few tries. See you tomorrow.